guys, me again. So it is Saturday today. My son has gone to a football match with a friend from school, so he won't be home till later. Oh, I don't know where the time's going. He left about three hours ago. No, maybe two and a half hours ago. And, um, oh, yeah, he'll be back soon. Right then. <clears throat> so... Um, before I get into the video, um, there's just a couple of things I want to say. So I want to say a big, massive, massive, massive thank you to the person who sent me some money to buy a fire extinguisher. And here it is, my fire extinguisher. These are a one kilogram fire extinguishers. They're really heavy, and you can get a two kilogram one as well. But I got this one, and it's a powdered one. So I've got that. And I also got a fire blanket. These are in my kitchen. I keep them in my kitchen uh, by my uh, fruit stand thing. And I've also got hanging on there um, some masks. Uh, because when you set these off, apparently the, the particles can go into your lungs and damage them. So yeah, I know, um, I know they're not going to be 100% effective. I know that. But... It'll be better than nothing and um, it'll keep me safe while I put a fire out. You know, touch wood. That's not going to happen. But I am prepared. I am fully prepared if that's to happen. So thank you so much for that. I've still got some money left over and I'm not sure yet what I'm going to do with that. Um, but it's there just in case an emergency pops up. So massive, massive thank you very much for that. I, another thing I want to show you is I got an email from Hobbycraft. I'm a member at Hobbycraft and then for my birthday every year they send me a £5 voucher. There is no minimum spend guys, no minimum spend and you can do click and collect which is free. You can buy it in the shop um, or you can have it delivered. They sent me this um, five pound voucher not my birthday they just sent it me again no minimum spend so every year i like to buy a new christmas decoration so i thought oh, i'll just have a look doubt there'll be anything for five pounds anyway i saw something and um, i happened to be going to hobbycraft or that way anyway not to hobbycraft but that way and so I thought right I'm going to do it click and collect because it's free and I saw this thing and I thought I'm going to have it it's going to be so cute I paid five pound for it and I went to pick it up and look at that guys it's a ceramic ceramic Christmas tree it's mint green and I absolutely love it I thought it was going to be smaller for five pounds from Hobbycraft oh sorry guys still coughing every now and then yeah so um, I thought it was going to be tiny, uh, but it's a really good size and um, I got it for free. Yay! Um, I want to put my Christmas decorations up, but I'm holding off till December. Moving on. I have been playing catch up, sewing, um, getting stuff in my Etsy shop. I have now put these up. These are some of them. I have got a couple more designs I want to add to the shop, but these are the ones there at the moment. So I've got penguin design and these are and paper towels or serviettes they make lovely serviettes as well um but yeah um and paper towel and um they've got like brush cotton on the back so soft these are navy ones and little penguins so cute and you get a pack of four for eight pounds i've got the penguin ones and i've also done a christmas tree design love this one and um, this is like a cream brush cotton on the back. And again, pack of four. Oh, lovely. So they have gone into my Etsy shop. I've also been making some baskets. I'm gonna call them bread baskets. You can use them for fruit or decoration, pine cones in them or, or yeah, pine cones. And on my Etsy shop, I have a foraging basket. These baskets don't have the handles, so you can use them like as uh, bread baskets on your table. I love them. I love serving bread with my food um, because it's cheap, it fills you up. It's just an ace way to bulk out a meal and um, 
you know, I like putting it in something so it looks pretty. So I have been making these. So I have got um, this blue check and like a little red flower one. And it's quilted, all these are quilted, I've quilted them. And they're, oh, they're lovely, I just love them. And, um, but I can't keep them, I've got to sell them. Oh, got to sell them. And then um, I've been making a, like a winter one. This has got like little uh, birds in it, like finches they look like with red berries. And then on the outside, this one is not, this is um, not a plain canvas. This has got like a, a green vine going up it absolutely love it they're good size as well you know you can get a few dinner rolls in there or um you can use it as uh for fruit whole fruit in it or something then i made a couple of christmasy ones this one is gingerbread man and stars and uh christmas trees like cookies gorgeous look at that love it and then I made this one. These are both like plain canvas on the outside with Christmas pattern fabric on the inside. And I also made this one. This is like red berries, mistletoe, um, eucalyptus and holly. It's, oh, love it. Love it, love it, love it. And I have got some of this fabric space. So I'm going to make one for me as well. Oh, yeah. So that is what I've been over, up to over the... I've also been working in the school for a couple of days a week. That's all I'll be doing is a Thursday and a Friday at the moment unless um, one of the other girls is off sick and then I will cover th for them. Um, but at the moment it's just a Thursday and Friday and it's just three hours in the morning. So it's half nine till half twelve. Perfect. Um, so I've been coming home and doing loads of sewing, yay! I've um, cut some more bunting out because that's gone really quick and I'm making some more um, hand warmers as well, the crocheted hand warmers. I've got to make the microwave hand warmers with the rice in. I've got to make some of them to put up. I'm going to sell them in like a little pack of two but I'll show you them when I make them. But my main job for today and tomorrow really is to get my house ready for winter even more <coughs> because it's going colder it is going colder and um, I'm noticing that my flat isn't keeping the heat so as soon as I turn that heating off within an hour it's cold again my dad's flat isn't like that um, I don't know if it's because he's downstairs and I'm on top of him, but um, he had it on the other week and I went the next morning to say good morning to him and my son goes in to say good morning before he goes to school and it was so warm in there and I was like, have you got your heating on? He said no, but I did turn it on last night and you could feel it. It's like my flat gets really cold. Oh, so, um, yeah, today I have been covering cardboard in tin foil and then what I have I put the shiny side out and then I've left these over flaps at the top and I will be either well it'll be this way I will be sliding well, I will be sliding the cardboard down and then putting this over the radiator to hold it in place so you will be able to see a bit of tin foil at the top, but that doesn't bother me. And I'm just hoping it works. It's gone cooler today and I can feel it in here. It is cooler, um, but my son's not here. So I'm just keeping warm with blankets. I've got my thick socks on. I'm going to put that tin foil behind the radiators today. I'm also going to start on my blackout blind. One of my lovely subscribers sent me. Um, this blackout blind so I'm going to cut that up today I want a piece to go over my door because I think a lot of heat is being lost through that those curtains are lined but they're so thin um, so I'm hoping that blackout blind will really really help um, in the lounge because we spend most of our time 
in the lounge that is what I am going to concentrate on and also I, um, I dry my clothes in my lounge as well um, they're taking a little bit longer to dry I think it's because it's been so damp and also um, I'm going to start getting bits and bobs ready for the blackout now then or for the blackouts it's not starting until January I think um, but I'm going to be prepared now I don't really need to do a lot because I've already prepared myself because I wanted to cut down on gas and electricity so I've got a lot of the stuff out all the time that I'm using but just little things I want to get ready for so they're predicting now in January and February that we will have these blackouts on really cold days and then somebody put up this chart depending where you lived or what letter you were on in the grid um, in the electricity grid uh, what days that you would be cut off and I don't know how they knew this I don't know how they found out this information but I put my postcode on and I am in area L it was showing people that were in the area L these blackouts were more, more likely to occur Thursday, Friday, Saturday and Sunday. Now then, I don't, like I said, I don't know how they got this information or anything or where they got it from. I just follow, followed the link and put my postcode in and it came up. So I don't know. I don't even know if it will happen, but we're going to be prepared. So then if it does happen, not stressed. So then I did a video a while back on how to keep warm this winter or how I was planning to keep warm this winter. I did, uh, I don't know, two or three videos on it. I still got baby brain guys. I still, my head's all mushy and I can't think. Anyway, uh, um, yeah, I did these videos and um, basically the same applies to the blackouts. That's what I'm going to do. So I have got blankets lots and lots of blankets I've got my hot water bottles ready I've got my camp stove I've got um, my camping kettle um, that I'll be using I just need to get it out and I'm going to make a box and I'm going to put everything in that so then if my dad needs anything I can take that box down to him if he's not going to come up to us I think they're saying between 4 and 7 were the hours more likely. The only thing that would mean for us is that, you know, it's going to be dark then. I've got to think about that. It's going to be dark then. And um, also it's going to be dinner time for us. We have dinner about 5 o'clock. So I'm going to, you know, have to think ahead about that. But I've got my camping stove. I'm just going to have to plan in my head what kind of food I'm going to do. And I think what I'll probably do on those days that we've got the blackout is that I will cook something in the slow cooker because that thing stays hot for hours. So it doesn't matter if it goes off at four o'clock and we're not going to eat till six o'clock or whenever, it will still be piping hot. So yeah, I'm going to put some um, slow cooker meals together and do it like that because... Um, you know, I can't take food out of the freezer because I usually defrost it or cook it in the microwave. I won't have that. But I do have a backup plan. The other Sunday, I went over the road to help the old lady over the road to start her car. Now then, um, her drive goes down and she parks her car face forward up to her garage door. So we couldn't get a car close enough to it to jump start it. And um, I remembered my dad had this big power pack thing with jump leads on it because um, he was having troubles when he had his car he had troubles with his battery and the breakdown cover he had was not up to a home call out he had to be 1.2 miles away from his home to get the call out otherwise they wanted 150 pounds off him so anyway he bought this massive power pack thing not to charge the battery he had a battery charger but it was to jump start his car and i think this is what garages use as well so you have like the red and black crocodile clips hook it up to the battery 
turn it on and jump start your car great so I asked my dad if I could borrow it to help over the road and he was like yeah no problem so my dad charged it and then my brother came over to help me and we went over and we started it up and um, when I went down there to look at it I thought oh my goodness this is amazing I didn't know so let me take you down to my dad's now and show you the battery pack okay so I'm down in my dad's now and this is the battery thing I was on about um, this here is the charger and uh, you just plug it in um, and this is what I was after you see the jump leads there's a red one there black one there and you hook it up to the battery and you jump start it but it's also got this on it so it's got this light which is great then it's also got USB um, and that's the cigarette lighter which is great because um, my cool box that I go camping fits into there um, and it's also got a plug now I'm not sure how long this lasts for what wattage the battery is but I'm sure it would help uh, if we're in a black a blackout and uh, in an emergency on the back of it it tells you um, what you can use it for and how to use it oh here we go so if I'm using the plug um, hold it and um, if it's a full battery four plus hours dusty and cobwebs on it because it's been underneath my dad's desk but yeah that's the power pack so I'm really really chuffed that I asked to borrow this because I had no idea any of this stuff was on here so we've got this in case of a blackout yes so um that's the battery pack how ace is that so um that is going to help us so much so much so if we you know need to charge our phones or if anything happens we've got an electricity supply through that battery um and i think it lasts for like four hours i'm not entirely sure because i didn't even know it had all those cool things on it but yeah i've got that as a backup um, I've got torches, I've got candles, I've already mentioned my camp stove and kettle um, so I can fill these up, I can plug that little portable fan heater into that battery pack to use it if my dad gets really cold or my son gets really cold. I have also got like this half a tent thing that my sister bought at me for my son when he was little to take on the beach so I thought if we get really cold we can sit in that um, I can put a blanket over and the heater in and at least that will keep my son and my dad warm that's it really uh, if we're really really cold we'll just go to bed we'll go to bed I'll make sure everything's charged it's not like it's going to be for days on end it might be three hours every day but at least we'll get some um you know chance in between to recharge stuff i have got my battery operated lights two in my hallway one in my toilet so that's fine i've got the head torches if we need them a uh, normal torch all my candles i've got the battery operated pull lights that um you know the they're a bit like a, a main light really i've got two of them i've got my solar lights the ones around the table at the moment they're not because it hasn't been that sunny they're not coming on but the ones um the little fairy lights and i've got the solar panel outside um they come on every night they're amazing but it did say that they would that solar panel would charge um, even if it was cloudy all day that's the best solar panel lights I've ever had they're amazing yeah so uh, that's what I'm gonna do to prepare for a blackout I just need to get now some ideas for slow cooker meals my freezer and fridge should be fine absolutely fine what I might do is I might buy a couple of ice packs to put in my fridge just to keep the temperature down or oh, somebody um, 
said that their freezer, I think it was like, could be off up to 72 hours before it defrosted. And what she did is put like those ice cubes in there, um, round the side, and then um, paper, newspaper on the top to keep it insulated. And all her food stayed frozen. And I think that was for like seven hours the power was off and it didn't even defrost. That's one good thing about it going off in winter, it is going to be cold. <laughs> it won't defrost as fast. Yeah, so that's what I've been up to guys. I'm still getting super tired. I'm still having the odd coughing fit, um, but I'm doing loads better. And the sun is shining today and so while my son has gone to this football match I am going to take a walk over to the allotment I haven't been there now for about a month yeah so that's what I've been up to I'm going to put this cardboard now behind the radiators because I'm hoping as well in these blackouts if I have the heating on and it goes off at four o'clock then my house might stay warmer for longer because at the moment it's not um, so I was going to do a separate video about this tin foil behind the radiators but I thought no it will tie in with this video because I'm just you know I'm putting the heating on to heat it uh, the house up and then oh within half an hour or an hour of the heating being off it's cold again it's not keeping its heat so I'm hoping fingers crossed that this will help and so will the thermal blinds. Um, and the bathroom staying warmer with the bubble wrap on the window and um, well the toilet and the uh, bathroom is that's just cling fill um, I'm having no condensation whatsoever in the bathroom or the toilet um, I'm still getting it in the bedroom because I only put that strip on the bottom so I pulled that off um, and I'm just using that um, window hoover of my dad's to clear the condensation off it every day until I can um, maybe cover the whole window. I don't know. I don't know. It seems to be working in the bathroom though. So my electric is on £24.62. Um, so I'm still sticking to the £2 a day. Um, only just though. Yeah, that's just being really, really careful. And then um, my gas is on £17.08p. Now then, I only usually use my gas for hot water, um, so bath, shower and washing up. But I have been putting the heating on for my son in the morning to heat his clothes up for school. And at night, if he said to me, Mummy, I'm cold. And that's after I've layered him up and wrapped him in blankets and put his hoodie on and uh, he's got his hot water bottle there's just been two nights where both of us just could not get warm i said to him in the end i said right that's it i had the heating on for like half an hour or something and i put the electric blanket on and we went to bed and he came into bed with me and it was lovely and warm and that was the only way we could warm up because nothing was working nothing um, yeah, so £17, £8 and 8p. I don't use a lot of gas, I don't use it, and still it's on £17 and 8p already. Crazy, crazy. But um, yeah, if it gets super cold, I will turn it on. I will turn it on. I was hoping not to turn it on just yet, but that's the way it goes. I've literally been putting it on for maybe 20 minutes a day. No, that's that's my other book that's in the kitchen. Every time we come, I turn it on, I put the time, I say how much it was on, what temperature I put it on, on the thermostat, and um, how long I had it on for, and what was the price afterwards. And yeah, we're looking at about 70p for 20 minutes. Crazy. Right then, I am going to sort this tinfoil out, I'm going to sort this blackout blind out, I'm going to go for a little walk to the allotment, might do the blackout blind later when my son comes. Yeah, I'm going to do some more sewing, I've got so much to do, oh, it's so good to be back, so good to be back. I know um, the videos are still a little bit slower, but I thought after that hour 
um, tour the other day, you won't want to see me for a while, you've had enough of me, so I'll give me a couple of days break. I just wanted to show you this, I've got to do some rice packs as well, but um, I did, I think I've shown you this one before, I think I got it from Home Bargains for a couple of pounds, it's a fleece rice bag and um, I've been using it while I've been sewing. So while my son's in school or not here, I will not have the heating on. I save it all for when he is home. Um, so if he's cold and he wants it on, I don't, you know, I've got, I've got enough um, money left over to put it on for him. So I have been using this and I've been putting it on my lap or around my neck. Oh, so warm just while I'm sewing. It helps me actually because um, when I'm sewing I sometimes get a bit of neck ache or back ache because I'm stuck in the same position for so long. Um, but yeah, this has been helping loads. Right then, so thanks for watching. Take care and I will see you soon. Bye.